Shalom, shalom. Shalom. We on GMS Mobile Camp. I'm the brother Godal. I'm the brother Lockham. I'm the brother Adab, y'all. And we coming week on weekend, week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom, which you know is America, but we know it is Babylon the Great and um, all these other names that's written of in the scriptures that are um, the spiritually named after these ancient kingdoms that are that have been destroyed and this place also is going to be destroyed but before we get into it we're going to start it by giving our honor and glory to Yahweh and double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone rule with being the greatest example to his younger brothers in the truth peace and blessing to the hopeful elect and Lord willing is edifying but we're going to get into um fighting that good fight you know as men you know first and foremost myself and the, and the rest of us man we got to remember that this is a spiritual battle and we got a job to do man right. you know <clears throat> and and we got to fight to to accomplish that job man you know because you got all these things that get in your way throughout your day to day you know things come up uh slothfulness complacency all those different things come up in your in your you know, on your spirit, <laughs> and you know, and all it be is demons, man. Mm -hmm. You know, doubt. You know, all these different things. All, all they are are demons. You know, to, you know, Satan trying to persuade you to not do the the will of the Lord, man. You know, that's why you got to remember to fight that good fight because this is a this is a spiritual battle, man. You know, before it, before it turn physical, it's first spiritual, man. And the physical battle is approaching, but right now. It's most more so spiritual than anything, you know. Mm -hmm. But we can get that first Timothy. You started the living. Six and the living. Alright, this is the book of uh, First Timothy, chapter six, verse eleven. It says, <clears throat> But thou O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Uh -huh. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Yeah, and fighting the good fight of faith ultimately is doing the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, being brotherly, you know, charitable, doing all these different things. That's us fighting that good fight, man. And ultimately doing doing the work, man. Going out on the highways and hedges, doing our videos, and and doing the things that are pleasing to the Lord, man. Kissing the sun, at least he be angry, man. And we we storing up treasures in heaven as we do these things. So you know, you don't want to look at it as a burden. You just do it. You know, you should love to do it. You know, and we do. You know, love to teach and preach. Cause what the fuck else we gonna go to? You know. In the world, mm -hmm. but you can uh, you can finish that. To say, <clears throat> fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Come, you know, and you can get that. Grab James two and twenty three. I think I had eighteen. I, I don't like it. James 2 and 18. Come. You can just hold the feed and I get it. This the this the book of James chapter 2 and verse 18. It say, yeah. It say a man may say. Oh, let me see if I start. I'll start at 14. This um James chapter 2 and verse 14 and say what doeth it profit my brethren in the title of the before this verse it say true faith evidence by work by works it say what doeth it profit my brethren though a man say he have faith and have not works can faith save him if a brother or a sister be naked and destitute of daily food and one of and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, with notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What doeth it profit? You know, 
And he say, get them the things which are needful to the body. And we are one body in Yahweh Shaman. Mm -hmm. You know, so we got to do our just due diligence, you know, whatever lot that we'll put in to do this work, man. Mm -hmm. Because um, we are part of this body, man. We got to do what we got to do to further the ministry, so to speak. You know, what the Lord called us into this truth to do, you know, to the best of our abilities. Mm -hmm. It's a... And one, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doeth it profit? You know, and it's just an example on a, on a real tip, like somebody needs some. <laughs> you ain't going to tell them just just call on the Lord and, and something, go, you know, and the Lord going to work things out. Maybe the Lord using you to be the blessing. You know what I'm saying? Somebody come to you and you know you got it. And you ain't gonna tell them just just go, you know. You'll be all right. Pray to your how about him, you have a shy, and he going he gonna make sure you good, you know. And that for people in his truth, mm -hmm. for the brothers and sisters in the truth, you know, that come honestly needing so, you know, you ain't gonna tell them that because <laughs> you ain't giving them what they need. Maybe the Lord using you to be that blessing, you know. Maybe the Lord had them come to you just to try you, to test you, to see what your heart is in the matter of, of something like that. Mm -hmm. It say, what do it profit? Verse 17, even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. Yeah, a man may say, thou hast faith and have work, and I have, so like it. Yeah, a man may say, thou hast faith and I have works. Shew me thy faith without thy works and I will show thee my faith by my works and you know the ultimate works of the man of the lord is what man prophesying man <laughs> you know teaching and preaching man yep. you know because at the end of the day we believe we are the prophets man who else could be the prophets man mm -hmm. ain't nobody else in the world doing what the bible say the men of the lord were gonna be doing in this time and not just gms all the camps man you know the prophets gotta be amongst <laughs> one of these camps, man. The prophets got to be out here, man. And it's leaning towards those BHIs, man, those so-called black Hebrew Israelites, man. They got to be the prophets of the Lord because they the only ones out on the highways teaching and preaching, you know, chanting down, chanting the down, I mean, chanting this place down, speaking upon the downfall of this wicked kingdom, which you people know it is uh, America, man. And this place is falling <laughs> according to what those men are saying, man. Yep. You know, this place is through. Yep. I don't know if y'all, they done told y'all, lad, you know, but you better look around the earth, man, and show you where the earth is headed, man. Mm -hmm. You know why? You better start watching them. Do. You ain't got to watch alternative news. Go, turn on uh, fucking CNN or some shit. Mm -hmm. Fox 10. They going to let you know where the earth is headed to, man. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like if I can add, you know, because... Yeah. Like we like we going into this faith thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, because the scriptures tell us without faith it's impossible to please the most high. For one. And then to be to even be considered to be a hopeful prophet, you got to believe in what you're going out saying, man. You know, anybody can read scriptures, you know, but you got do you believe in what you saying, man? You know, that's what that's that's what really that's what really uh pleases the most high, man, because he know all our hearts. He know who believe in what they saying and who really don't believe in what they saying, man. And at the end of the day, if you don't believe in what you saying, you're gonna fall out, you gonna you gonna make you fall out of the truth anyway, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you basically ain't in the truth if you don't even believe in what you going out preaching, man. Uh, you know, like they say in the in the world, you gotta practice what you preach. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the only way you're gonna practice what you preach is if you really believe in what you preaching, man. Right. But I got one. This is uh, Hebrews 10. It says, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. And like I said, you know, the scriptures say it's impossible to please the most high without faith, man. Mm -hmm. So you can't waver. Your faith can't waver, man. Mm -hmm. It says, for he, in parentheses, for he is faithful that promised. It says, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. See, there go that word works again, man. Mm -hmm. Got to provoke each other, man. Yep. To good, to good, to to love and good works. And what is love? According to the Most High, love is keeping the commandments, man. Mm -hmm. 
And that's where you, you that's where the majority of your good works going to come from. Mm -hmm. Starting with keeping the commandments, man. And then going out and doing what the Lord commanded us to do. Mm -hmm. It says, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. You can't forsake this, man. Hey, this is beautiful because this hot like the other Yahshua always said. This high level thinking, man. Not everybody. This, this is this, this is the beginning of uh, of uh, um, spiritual power right here, man. Mm -hmm. Understanding this truth, man. Yep. It says not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. You got the Lord of Brotherhood, man. Okay. It says as the manner of some is, but ex but exhorting one another, and so much the more. As ye see the day approaching, and what day is approaching, man? <laughs> hey, the, that terrible and great day of our Lord coming, man. That day is approaching real fast, man. Like they say, uh, 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 NASA, man. They they saw that big old father ship coming, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how is approaching fast, man? Yep. And this place is crumbling, man. It's crumbling very fast, fast man. Yeah. I, I, you know, just so like it, just the mm -hmm. head. <laughs> America ain't got another four or five years, man. This might be the last year of normalcy, man. Yep. You know, our hell could be breaking loose in 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 next month, not next month, the next month after that, man. Yep. These are times we coming into and people still bullshitting and playing, man. Mm -hmm. But hey, <laughs> when reality hit, man, it's gonna be over with for you people, man. Uh -huh. You got it. One more verse. It says. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation. We know what that means. The yeah. nuclear missiles, man. And uh, those laser beams from the, those chariots, which shall devour the adversaries, man. You know, you got it. Okay. I'm going to finish this in James two and verse 19 it's a little more it say thou believest that there is one one god thou doest well the devils also believe and tremble but wilt thou own so like it but wilt thou now O vain man that faith without works um but wilt thou know O vain man that faith without works is dead you know and that's pretty much the point Oh well, I keep going to say, was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Seest thou how faith wroth uh, wroth with his works, wroth with his works, and by works was faith made perfect? You know, and that's pretty much going into the time because that's. You know how the Lord gave that covenant. You know, gave the covenant. That's how the, Abraham was found in good grace. The Lord tested him. Right. Like, okay, shit, I'm going to put you up to the test. Shit. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice your son unto me. And got to understand, Abraham was coming fresh out of <laughs> or, um, idol worship and shit, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, he wasn't fresh out of idol worship, but he that's where he came from. You know? And say, and the scripture was fulfilled which said of Abraham believed in God and it was imputed unto him righteousness, you know, and that's, that's what is going to come to mm -hmm. in our time, man, that belief in what, like you were just saying, belief in what we saying, man. Okay. And if we believe what we saying, ultimately we believe in Yahweh Shai, ultimately believing in Yahweh, man, by believing in this word, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why the Lord say, he that hear if you hear of me, he that hear of me, hear of him that sent me. It say, ye see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only, you know, so by works <laughs> are we justified, man. And that's why Apostle Todd say, you know, and of course, you you know, you may not do a video every day, but that consistency is the thing, man, doing it to the best of your ability, you know, because, hey, man, we in hell, <laughs> so things come up, you know. But you know you gotta make up for it. You know, mm -hmm. you know when you when you see yourself slip, you gotta try to make up for it. Do the best of your ability. You know, have a true, sincere heart on trying to make up for it and do the do the do the works, man. You know, 
do the will of the Lord because the first, the ultimate worst in this time is, you know, the, the all the law hang on this to love thy brother <laughs> and, and and love the Most High with all thy on with all thy heart, man. You know, roughly paraphrasing that scripture. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's pretty much all on that, James. We grab that Ephesians. We, I mean, you had some other. Um. But you you can grab that Ephesians. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. and then. Huh? Nah, I started on uh, believing. All right, this is Ephesians, chapter six, um, starting at verse eleven. It say, "Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil." Now this ain't no literal armor, man. This spiritual speaking, man. You know we ain't got <laughs> breastplates from the heaven, man. You know, no, it's it's, it's spiritual armor, man. You got it up. It say, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Places. Okay. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Yeah, and and that's you know, cleaving unto this word, you know, is us putting on that armor. You know, because at the end of the day, <laughs> it's going to be what, what we going through through these scriptures, what's going to sustain this, man. That's going to be our armor. That's going to be the truth, going to be thy shield and buckler, man. You know, within this fight, because Satan is seeking whom he may devour, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you get caught slipping, you know, being too complacent or being too less days could the, 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 oh, I'm going to say the devil, but Satan play on it, man. You know, Satan play on, on your weaknesses. Satan play on things that are getting to you, man. Mm -hmm. So you got to fight the things that are getting to you. You got to understand what are your weaknesses. You got to understand what you need to work on and all those different. That's why the scripture tell us to examine ourselves daily, man. Yeah. Pray about it, you know, because <laughs> if not, man, Satan going to devour you, man. Yeah. And if you I can know? add, you, you know, know. The, 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 first, the first part of your downfall what Satan really work on is when you start doubting, man. <laughs> That's one of Satan's strongest points, man. When he when he know you getting when he, when he know you doubting, he can he can make plays off of that, man. You know, Satan is a playmaker, man. You got to remember that, man. If you yeah. give him the smallest crack, he'll seep in, bro. Mm -hmm. You know. That's why the Lord I always constantly tell you give attendance to reading, and exhorting, and going mm -hmm. and exhorting, going to teaching. Mm -hmm. And and doctrine, roughly paraphrasing, you know, basically to keep, you know, stay occupied in, in him, stay occupied in the word, stay occupied in this truth, because this is going to keep you stable, man. You know, okay. this is going to come going through the valley of the shadow of death in this wicked world, not just America, but this wicked ass world that we in, what's going to keep us stable ultimately is, is staying in this, in this work, man, doing the work, you know, being around the brothers. You know, doing lessons, you know, going through the scriptures, man. That's going to keep you sane. That's going to keep you stable and focused on what is to come, man. Because don't none of the rest of this shit even much matter, man. Uh -huh. You know? Mm -hmm. Because, like I said a few minutes ago, you know, that doubt, man, that's the opposite of faith. Uh -huh. It's doubt, man. That's why, you know. <laughs> yeah, mine too. That's why your Howard shot, you know. What kind of story? But that was uh I'm gonna read it right quick. Matthew 14 and 29, he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Yahweh shop. Mm -hmm. But when he saw the wind boistering boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Yahweh shot stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, Oh, thou little faith, wherefore did this doubt doubt? <laughs> See, when you start doubting, man, when you start losing that faith, bro. Mm -hmm. Faith is the is uh, is synonymous, man. Well, anonymous is the opposite of doubt, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Yep. So you don't you don't you don't want to start doubting, man. You know you you at one point you was believing that you may be able to hopefully let. Mm -hmm. Then you start doubting. Well. You know, I, maybe I this ain't this. the truth. 
Yeah, that. Oh, or, you, you know, some man, I, I, I seen last week, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's why the Lord said, don't let your iniquity, iniquities lift themselves up, man. Yeah. You got to repent and keep moving, man. Stay faithful, man. Yeah. Righteous man, follow seven times. Come on, because it's a spiritual battle, like we said. Yeah. We ain't perfect. We ain't perfect, man. We ain't need chains of darkness. Man. We can't be perfect, you know. Come on. Come on. That's why the law ain't the the the, the top topic of discussion, man. Because right. at the end of the day, <laughs> if we was going by the law, ain't nobody gonna make it up out this motherfucker, man. We all gonna get put to death, man, because ain't nobody keeping the law perfect. Man. Oh. Oh, I say our righteousness is, is our filthy rags, man. We yeah. in captivity first and foremost, yeah. man. We can't keep the laws perfectly in the enemy land, man. Nope. Because guess what? Uh, the T gang, they supposed to get put to death on the spot, bro. Yeah. We can't put the T gang, you know what the T gang is. We can't put the T gang to death in the enemy's land, man. Yep. They're going to put us to death. Come on. <laughs> Rebellious children, all, all kind of different things, man. Yeah, so if you break one of the laws, you break all of them, man. Yep. And then, shit, they put pork in every goddamn thing. Yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It's just all fucked up. You don't know what kind of meat you eating because that mm -hmm. shit could have died of itself, man. Yep. You know? <laughs> you don't know, man. Yep. You just got to, you know, repent, you know, and, and, and cleave to the Lord. Because a new heaven and a new earth is on the way, man. Mm -hmm. Remember that. Keep that on the top uh, of your, of your, of your um, law, man. And you'll understand shit. This is, you know, spiritual fight. And I got, just got to keep pushing to the end. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, we can close that with the... It's some more on that Ephesians. Um, yeah. It's a... Um, I'm reading it over. It's um, Ephesians chapter 6, um, verse 13. It's a... Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the most high that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and have it done all to stand. And what's what's part of that evil day? Jacob's trouble too, man. Mm -hmm. That's a part of that evil day, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, we gonna really need Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and Michael and the angels to be helping us, man. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to have faith in that, man, that they gonna help us, man. Mm -hmm. Because it's about to get real heavy out here, man. You're gonna be seeing what, the, what that dude name was that did that shooting in uh, what that was, Buffalo, New York? Mm -hmm. That's gonna be going on in tons of places, bro. Mm -hmm. Not just in one spot here, maybe one spot there. No, that's gonna be happening all over, man, because the Lord gonna give his sword, which is the wicked, starting out with Esau Edom. You're gonna give them a charge over the two thirds, man. Right. And, and those people that got slaughtered in that store, they was a part of the two thirds, man. Right. The Lord killing off the two third right now. You know, here last one on Jesus, Jesus, yeah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Or just atheists in the church. <laughs> or atheists yeah. don't believe at all. Yeah, most of them were old. Yeah. Know? So you know. No, you can't put new wine in old bottles, man. Cross around your neck. <laughs> yeah. You, you you got that already? It's a. I'll close out. Verse fourteen. It say, "Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth." And having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation. Hold of up, God. what was accounted to um, you know, having on the breastplate of righteousness? What was accounted to Abraham as righteousness, man? Um, His faith, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but um, you got it. Huh? Yeah, it say, and, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Um. Of, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Uh, yeah, it could because hey, <laughs> the shield of faith, bro. We were talking about that the other day, man. When you got that shield, the shield is what protect you from those fiery darts, man. It's your shield of faith, man. When you got faith, ain't nothing the devil can shoot at you, man. Mm -hmm. Because you're gonna be able to block it with that shield, man. Because you know what the words say. That, that's why it's faith builders within these scriptures, man. Okay. That's why it's important we stay in these scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. That's why I say your feet shot it with the truth, man. Mm -hmm. You know, run to that truth, man. Stay in it. You know, you got it. And 17, it say, and take the heaven of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the most high, hmm. praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit hmm. and watching there unto with all per per perseverance. perseverance and supplication of, for all saints. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they pretty much yeah, pretty much. Huh? So I'm going to get this Matthew 24 starting at verse 11 because, like I said earlier, man, hey, <laughs> Jacob's trouble is on the way, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not at the door. It's at the you door, know? man. It is. 
Shit. It ain't on the way as you. He ain't on the way no more. It's it's done. Shit, Jacob Trouble opening up, coming on, and it was yeah, Bogarting their way through that bitch. Because you know, it been Jacob Trouble with them starting this family. Cool. That's a part of Jacob Trouble, man. Mm -hmm. You know, Esau coming down with that sword. That's part of Jacob uh, Trouble, man. You know, it says verse Matthew 24 and 11, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. That's why you can't doubt, man. You got to know, you got to stick with what you believe in. And, th and those are the names of Yahweh. Why Yahweh shy, man? And this, and this, this truth, man. This true, this true uh, doctrine. Mm -hmm. You know, it says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure until the end, same shall be saved, man. Because it's gonna get, cause see, you know, grace period is about to be over with, man. Grace period is a time for you to build your faith up in your how about Shem Yaw Shah. If you one of them damn Christians to say, I don't know nothing but the name of Jesus, who the fuck are you going to have to call on in that day, man? Yeah, just your like all done. Them, them people who got killed, got bitch, yeah. they were, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. Lord. Mm -hmm. Jesus hey, wasn't there to help, goddamn. He wasn't there to save you, man. Yeah. So, hey, if you don't believe, it start with you believing in the name of your while your house shot, man. If you don't believe in those names, you're gonna die, man. Cause you got to be, you got to believe in those names to even call on them in your time of trouble, man. Because like we like like we said, this is a spiritual fight, man. You know, it said, but he that it shall endure until the end, same shall be saved. So that's the only way we gonna endure to the end in this spiritual fight, man. Because like you said earlier, it it uh it manifests into the spirit first. And then it manifests into the into the physical world, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. things are always spiritual first, man. Then you you act it out, man. Like that's like the scriptures say, whatever man thinketh, so shall he do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you thinking it up in your spirit, then hey, uh, sooner or later you gonna spring into action. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, and that's pretty much the point. You know, mm -hmm. gonna end this. And we're going to close that, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kapodash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Rule <laughs> web and the greatest honor to the younger brothers of the truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful link. Shalom. Shalom. Kwam Yashallah. Kwam Yashallah. Ababa. Ababa. Shalom. Shalom.